well, but I actually hid some of them so that I wasn't going to go through a lot of the 3D stuff. But I'll just kind of fast forward through it. So with our 8100, um, it comes as a, tr a t true dimensional 2D panel, but you can also buy it as a 3D or you can upgrade it to 3D in the future. So for the doctors that are looking just to get on a base level, get a pan out, um, this, this would be the pan out I'd recommend. It's got an aluminum body, um, high frequency generator. I'm not going to bore you with all the details. Some of the other slides moving forward will. I, I hid some of them. Now they're not hidden. How come? I hid. So on the PowerPoint, you know how you can hide them? Yeah. But now it unhid them. Oh, oh well. All right. You can connect your laptop. What? You can connect your laptop if you want. That's right. Um, so on the panel, we've got the height adjustment, we've got the, the motorized head support, the carbon mid-sagittal Frankfurt Plane landmarks, uh, and this uh, chin, uh, chin support, no lasers, convenient face-to-face -face positioning. With a lot of panels, the patient has to face backwards into a mirror to position the patient. It can be difficult, and patients can be a little claustrophobic. Our panel is different. They face out towards the operator, so it's easier to position. Uh, Laser-free, comfortable patient support, fast acquisition time, quiet operation, and it's an open design. I'll get into some of that more as we go. You can obviously lower it for patients in wheelchairs. So I'm tall. If the assistant's short, you also might want to seat them just to get the patient in an easier position. Any type of chair, just have them seated. Fits anywhere. I've got a client in Los Gatos that actually put it in his coat room because it's really a compact machine. A lot of times in the past, um, our previous pano is um, a little bit larger, so it won't fit in certain places, especially with the step arm. It could be a little bit large at times. So this is neat because you only, in, 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 when it's rested, it's 13 inches wide. That's it. When it rotates, you need 36. And then this next, one of the next slides will show you that. Variable focal trough, traditional focal trough and enhanced focal trough. Most panos rotate the same for every patient, whether they have a class one, a class two, overbite, U-shaped jaw, V-shaped jaw. If you want to get into a pano that's going to give you a variable focal trough, most panos are going to be in the forty to forty-five thousand dollar range. This pano is twenty-five grand, and it actually gives you a variable focal trough, and that's part of the software. So when you position the patient before you take the scan, you select. Um, and I'll show you on my software on my laptop if you'd like to see it. But you're going to select the size of the patient, the shape of their jaw, and so the, the center of rotation moves based on the morphology of their jaw. So you're not going to get so much interior burnout as you might with some of the other panels that are on the market. Nice feature within our panel. Some of the different scans that we can take. Um, you've got your standard pan, your pediatric program, your segmented panos, your panels without TMJ, your TMJ 2 and 4 open closed, and the maxillary sinus. <clears throat> Once again, most panels that will give you all of these options are going to cost you a lot more money. <clears throat> Some clinical results. Good image quality. So you got your sharpness filter. Here's the size. So as you can see, on the right-hand side, 30, almost 37 inches when it rotates, when it's positioned without rotation, it's 13 inches. And then the depth is about 40, 44 inches. Fits anywhere, just about. We just launched our eighth generation of sensor. Um, I know that there's at least a handful of doctors in here that have our older generation of sensors. Um, our old generation of sensors are still being supported. You can still use them with the software. So if, if Dr. Desai, for example, you had to add a sensor, your old 6100 would still work with this new 6200. Same thing for Dr. Booster. Um, so very durable, improved ergonomics, exceptional image quality, enhanced workflow, enhanced image processing, easy to use image software, and service made simple, which we'll get into. Durable. This is how the sensors are designed. A lot of times I get asked, what's going to happen to my sensor? It, 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 how are they going to, where are they going to break? Why are they going to break? How are they going to break? Well, just like a handpiece, you obviously want to treat it with some love. You don't want to drop it on the ground. 
But our sensors have been proven durable, and in one of my next slides you'll see what we put them through before we actually sell it to you. And in some of, the, some of your seats, I've got the 6200 um, catalog that shows the type of test that we put our sensors through before we sell them to you. What we did too with our sensor is we made the cord a little thinner, so when patients bite down, it makes it a little bit easier for them to get a, a better contact, thinner cable. And then we also eliminated the need um, on our 6100 sensors and even some of the ones prior. There was a little button on the cable. Dr. Desai, Dr. Fuster, you're aware. That little button on the cable we, is gone. We got rid of that. The button on the cable which was to activate the sensor, good and bad. Uh, it's good because the sensors are inactive at all times. When I was with a previous company, I'd get a call at least once a week from an assistant. Jim, I'm in room one. How come in room two I'm getting radiation picked up, x-ray picked up on my computer monitor? What, how's that happening? It, sensors, if they're plugged in and they're active, it's picking up radiation unnecessarily. So the CareStream slash Kodak sensors are inactive at all times. So we ask you to push the button to tell the computer now that we're ready to take an x-ray. And that activates the sensor. Now with the new 6200 sensor, that's not necessary because once, once the x-ray generator um, shoots off the radiation, it detects the radiation so there's no need to, to push the button anymore. So also one less thing that can potentially go wrong is no more button to have to push. Kind of neat. Reinforced connection points, very durable. 15 pound weight. Now I'm not going to do this on my demo because I know the one time I do something's going to happen. But my colleague in Boston, he starts every demo with this. He has a 15 pound weight in his bag that he wheels in and he pulls out the sensor and he actually has it tied to the weight. So very durable, very strong. Sensors are immersible in water for 24 hours. No other sensor can do that. No. Some of my competitors on their, some of my competitors on their websites will even state, make sure you have a barrier, you don't hit it with this, that or the other. No problem with our sensors. Adequate, ability to adequately disinfect sensors, important if barrier sheet tears or breaks. There was a study that said 44% of, of sheets break. We all know that happens. So you don't, no need to worry. You can submerge, physically submerge this um, in any type of, of, of liquid disinfecting solution. Improved er ergonomics. The 6200, the casing on the back is a little smaller, so a little bit more tolerable, I guess you'd say, for the patient. Less bulky. Thinner, 20% thinner like we talked about. Line pair, there's a company on the market that says we have a 33 line pair resolution. I'm not going to get into that today, but it's physically, physically, physically impossible. It's physically impossible. I've got some independent studies that I can show you on my computer to review some of that with you. Nobody can have a 33 line pair sensor. Impossible. Our true resolution is 24 line pairs. And I have a line pair gauge. I can show you some images if you're interested. Exposure range. 70 kVs and 7 mAs. You see much broader range of image quality in the different exposure ranges compared to some of my competitors. I won't mention who, but it's sold through a company that starts with P. See the higher saturation and the low contrast. So you don't have to be dialed in as precisely with our 6200 sensors. It has more flexibility, more range. Also, um, Twain compatible. What does this mean? Really, nobody really knows exactly what it means. But what it means to me and to you is my sensor, my camera, my pano can be used within other types of software. So I get questioned all the time. I've got Chic. I've got Dexis, I've got Gendex, no problem. We provide a disk that you would load onto all of your operatory computers that would enable you to add the drivers to my sensor, my camera, my panel. Now, I digress. It's always better to use the imaging software that comes with the system that you buy, whether it's Dexis or Schick or CareStream. Uh, the drivers are built into the software, Just it's a better marriage, better compatibility. 
But a lot of times I'll have an office call me and say, because I sold DEXs in my previous life. I have a lot of offices that will call me and say, Jim, I've got two DEXA sensors. I'm expanding. I need to add more sensors. Or um, the sensor's a little big. I need to buy a smaller sensor. Or I need to buy a bigger sensor. No problem. It works. Also, all the types of softwares, practice works, Dentrix, EagleSoft, Ectrix, Easy Dental, Open Dental. I'm not going to get into all this. I'm trying to save time for Vince. He's really the good speaker. I'm just trying to go fast. Don't let us down, Vince. <laughs> Different contrasts, and once again, if you're interested on my laptop, I can go through the software real quickly and show you the different settings. So we've got an Endo, a Perio, and a DEJ preset. So instead of adjusting the contrast manually, like you know, up and down with a little scale, you can still do that with my software. But you just click on the Endo, for example, and the sharpness filters give you a lot more definition at the apex. As opposed to if you hit the Perio button, it's going to give you more, more definition, more shades of gray at the bone level. Once again, some image quality, imaging software. Easy to share, print, export, email. Image quality, and in summary, durable, improved ergonomics, image quality. I'm not going to read through all those again. And then, Shab, let's can we go back to the second, uh, my other PowerPoint? Yeah. I've got one more quick one, and then Vince is going to jump up.